So I'm going to get baptized on Sunday and I'm ready to do that. I have made my mind up that I want to put my faith towards God and his son Jesus Christ and I am ready to be a part of his life and his journey that he has for me. This is for Shonda and I've been going to this ring church for about a year now and I absolutely enjoy it to the fullest. And today I'm going to share with you guys not just my story but a life experience. So to begin, I grew up in foster care from 8 to 18 and that was a difficult time for me. I was immediately put on medications for mental health issues that I don't know if I had at the time, but at least that's what I was told. And I was labeled so many things that I started to believe in them. And by the time I aged out of foster care, I was more than broken with no understanding of God or the world. I felt abandoned and worthless. I became pregnant in an independent living home at 18 years old with now two-year-old Ryan. And I was kicked out of the home, so my parents let me move with them. And it didn't work out because I argued with them too much. So they sent me back to Florida where I'm from originally, and they kept my baby because I couldn't take care of him. I had no one then to help me. I had burned all my bridges. And I remembered one day I decided to overdose because I felt no one cared if I lived or died. I proceeded to take a handful of pills in my hand. Someone spotted me walking down the street after I took the pills and they called 911. My eyes were shut tight closed and I couldn't see anything. The room was dark, but I ended up seeing the light. It was white and bright, and I felt like I had to sit up towards it. So I did. I sat up towards the light and opened my eyes. And when I opened my eyes, it was blurry. But I at first said, thank you, God, because I was realizing that I was awake. And a nurse came in the room, and she said, you're lucky to be alive. You've been asleep for two days. Yes, um, my first time ever coming to the Springs Church, I had connected with Pastor Rory through the internet. I was in need of a church and desperately, and I got on the internet searching for many churches, but this one called my name. Well, I would have to thank my mentor um, that lives in Florida. Her name is Mrs. Maria. She's been always a help to me with you know, she's a godly woman and she took me to church a couple of times and I just remember her doing those things for me. And Hi, I have a poem, guys, um, that I made for everybody. It's called God is Everything. He is our parent when they're not around. He is our friend when we are feeling down. He is our lover when we feel unloved. He is our strength when we are not strong enough. He is our help when we're confused, for our God loves us. This is true.